Okay, so we're gonna do a public video. Um, wish me luck on this. So I made it to uh, St. Louis and I am now, um, I don't know if you can see me, I can't see me. I hope you don't like just see like a shadow of a person, but um, <laughs> is that better? That is better, but I can't walk backwards. So we're just gonna keep walking like this. <laughs> um, yeah, so I made it and uh, actually found, uh, nearly impossible, but actually found uh, free parking. Uh, <laughs> everywhere else was uh, 6 or $10, so um, thankfully I found free parking. I couldn't see spending 6 or $10 to park to see uh, the arch. Can you see it? I don't think so. Um, me like trying to get this to. There it is. There we go. Right there. There's the arch. Um, it's something I've actually never seen. I've been through a lot of America, but I've never actually stopped here. It's really beautiful. Pretty. So, um, I love it because there are, uh, some people will ask about, like, why, why they would build something like that. I think that it's just really cool that someone created this in their mind, um, as art and then made it a reality. And this was in, this was built in the 50s, I believe. is so big. So that's kind of a cool stop to make. Um, not a lot of time filler, like it's just a site. Um, you can't really do anything here. I guess just kind of walk around the park, but you can kind of do that in any park. So anyway, um, I am going now to find something to eat because I haven't eaten all day and then um, go to a coffee place and charge uh, my batteries and uh, have some coffee and uh, work on video edits and uploads and get ready to head to Kansas City unless there's something else in St. Louis I end up finding to go to but uh, nothing comes to mind so uh, and editing videos and uploading will take a little bit of time all right hope you all have a good day hey everybody uh, make sure this is focusing I think it is. Um, if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, uh, yesterday I didn't do, I didn't record any videos except for the arch videos um, because I stopped at a coffee shop in St. Louis and uh, edited and processed um, video and then uploaded the video to YouTube. And it took a total of um, like six or seven hours to get everything done. So, um, I didn't really have a chance to really get on video much um, or at all after the arches after the arch <laughs> um, then uh, left from there drove a little bit parked at a Walmart um, this time I parked in a place that was kind of dimmer um, and it was just perfect to sleep and then here comes the story <laughs> so uh, parked there um, and uh, park, park there, like got comfortable. Um, and for the first time since I've been like, uh, doing the traveling, I actually, uh, slept without jeans or anything on. So, uh, I slept in my boxer briefs and, um, that was kind of a bad decision after all. Uh, it was comfortable, but then I woke up and 
sometimes whenever I wake up, I have to use the bathroom pretty bad. Uh, it wasn't something I was thinking about. It isn't something I've really thought about because I haven't had to do it before this. Um, but uh, sometimes that needing to use the bathroom is needing to go number two. And um, I uh, had like stomach cramps and was like, okay, I am gonna need to take a shit soon. And um, so uh, I started looking around because I was kind of parked away from the store a little ways, like to get to the front, like walking over there would have taken me probably like probably like six or seven minutes just to get to the front and then get in and hope nobody was in the bathroom. Um, so I started looking around for places like, cause like in front of me there was like this wooded area but it had like a fence. So I was like, I could maybe use the bathroom there but I don't know. And um, like I laid there and before I knew it, like I like, I, well, I sat there trying to figure it out and before I knew it, it was like, you know like whenever you like holding it like I was holding it as hard as I could knowing that there was nowhere in the world I could go like um, there was nowhere around like I looked around and Walmart was there but it was too far away and I was like there's no way I'm gonna make it so but I was like if I try maybe I can I got uh, my shirt on and my jeans and was going to buckle and I couldn't hold it anymore um, it kind of just started to flow out it wasn't like wet but it wasn't also like thick thick it was just there and I was like oh shit like literally and um, I, um, I was like I don't know what to do and like I couldn't like I could probably get it to stop but I was like I, I can't like I was like trying and um, yeah I was like okay it would reminded me of like the movie Bridesmaids, like whenever they're trying on dresses. <sighs> and I was like, okay, so what do I do now? And so I was like, I looked around to like try to figure out what to do then. And um, I uh, took my jeans back off and um, then slowly tried to, like I, I was already kind of in up position. Um, and slowly tried to take off my underwear without any of it like falling out anywhere in my car <laughs> um, and like I know this is really gross but it's a part of the experience so and I feel like I should share it and talk about it um, because it's like real like, like it's real like th this was bound to happen at some point well not bound to happen but it could happen at some point and it did happen and um, so, um, whenever you're like, whenever you're not like staying somewhere or whatever, where there's like a bathroom, like right there, um, you, I don't know, you just learn to appreciate the small things and like having a bathroom, a restroom right there is one of the small things that I now appreciate so much more. Um, but I got the underwear off, found a plastic bag nearby, stuck the underwear in there. Thankfully, I had wet wipes in the car already, so I used wet wipes to clean up and put those into the bag. Um, then uh, tied up the bag and uh, walked it. Or, uh, by that point, I put on my jeans again, um, my jeans and shirt. Walked it to a trash can, then uh, went into the Walmart and went to the bathroom. I didn't have anything on my hands, obviously. Well, maybe not. Well, no, I, I didn't. Like, I was going to say maybe not, obviously, but there would be no, because I had wet wipes, so even if I had gotten it, I would have cleaned it up with the wet wipes, but then went to the bathroom, washed my hands, and then went to um, uh, Planet Fitness to take a shower. <sighs> what a morning. Um, but the Planet Fitnesses here are so, like, gorgeous, so beautiful and like you go in and they're just huge they're standalone complexes you go in they're huge then you go to the bathroom the showers there have like the the rainfall showers that like like it's like falling from above like right above you and it's just all just flowing straight down not like not like a curve coming down but just straight down on you so that's kind of cool um <clears throat> so i showered and then I was like, I'm done with St. Louis. Let's move on. Um, let's leave it in the past. And uh, 
So I did. I uh, got in the car and uh, started driving, made it to Kansas, and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to stay the night in Kansas, I don't think, um, Kansas City, because I was already a little bit behind because of the how long it took to do the video. I had planned on driving to Kansas last night, and that didn't happen because of how long it took the video. So um, I got to Kansas, got something to eat, then uh, was like, I really need to wash clothes. Like... Uh, I had I had even brought some dirty clothes with me because I just didn't have time to wash them before heading out and so um, I needed to wash those so now uh, I found a, uh, a laundromat laundro mat in uh, Topeka Kansas and now I'm washing clothes here and once I get finished then I'm going to drive a little bit further and then find somewhere to sleep again and then drive the rest of the way to Denver uh, tomorrow so we'll see how that plays out um, and then also in my previous video I talked about how I had somebody that paid for me a hotel room in Detroit I'm not going to Detroit I get I don't get Detroit and Denver mixed up but because they're both D like states um, I will sometimes call or D cities um, uh, I was sometimes called Denver, Detroit, and Detroit, Denver, and really I'm going to Denver. The hotel room is paid for in Denver uh, for Christmas Eve night. Um, the person who paid for it doesn't even live in the United States. He lives in another country, and um, it's prepaid like he's already paid for it. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get off here. I love you all. Uh, thank you for all the love and support. Let me look real quick. I'm not for sure what any of this at is at. Um, I am at $224.48 after, uh, like buying gas and food and stuff, uh, yesterday and today. So that's where I'm at. If you want to help, uh, you can, uh, just visit the GoFundMe link in the video. Also in the, um, uh, description, my PayPal is, uh, paypal.me slash Johns, I believe. Um, my cash app is the little cash symbol, uh, Jer Ally, uh, because I use Ally Bank. So I use Ally as like the end of that. So that's my cash app. Okay. Um, also, if you really want to sub just subscribe, subscribing helps a lot uh, because once I reach certain numbers, then I can start monetizing videos and making money from uh, doing videos. So that'll help out so much. Um, I can't wait to have this all done and like, uh, hopefully come to like a good standing with the company and um so i don't have to deal with this like come to an agreement with the company so i don't have to deal with this because right now i can't really work work and i i don't know i can't quit and can't they can't fire me and it's just like so much going on so um hopefully it all works out and soon thank you guys for all the support in the meantime it means the world okay i'm gonna get off here before i do another 20 minute video <laughs> And I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Mwah. Bye.